my dad when I was 20. Mm -hmm. And of course, go to school and get more education wasn't an option. I didn't even was thinking about it. I was, all my goals were to work, make money, and uh, take care of my family, which I uh, was 20 and I already have a kid. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and I did work hard. I found a good job actually, good pay compared to uh, in general, people without education, so I was okay, but it wasn't enough. And I was young, I was thinking about my kid, and then I have a second one, so uh, not really, even I was okay, the money wasn't enough, mm -hmm. and I decided to come to the United States, mm -hmm. thinking about uh, get a better life, make more money, so my kids could get more education, but that implicates so many sacrifices, like leave my kids behind, my wife behind, and come by myself, and without English or anything, and uh, washing dishes is not well paid either, and technology wasn't, back then, wasn't that good as today, that we can make phone calls and stuff to our family, mm, that's true. so it was really hard. Just writing letters to my wife and kids, and uh, sometimes two weeks, one letter take two weeks. Sometimes four weeks to get there, even from here to uh, Mexico City, where my uh, wife and kids so were living at the time. So when you when you lived here, how was it like? Like, what did you do? Like, where did you live? I live, I get to, uh, some friends help me, so I, I met some of these guys and we shared a basement. We, it was like a living room and as we, sleep, we were like three guys sharing the room. So, uh, and then we pay, we share the rent. And trying to uh, work full time as a dishwasher. And in my free time, trying to go to school to learn some English. Mm. Because uh, I knew that being in this country, I have to do my best to learn English. To be able to blend into the this society. sociedad. Mm -hmm. he, um, let's come on, continue. It was very difficult. It was painful to be far away from my family was really sad, especially because I wasn't making enough money. So I was like uh, disappointed. So many times I, I, I thought, why I came here? Why I have to be uh, living this kind of life? Uh, trying to save some money and go back to Mexico is not easy. Because the situation in, in our country is, is uh, always never get better. Instead, kind of get worse. Every time, so we go back and it's no way, there is no jobs, and if there is work, there is no well paid. So even we do humble jobs here, the money, uh, it gets, it has a little more comfortable, family get better, my kids are able to get toys and stuff. So, yeah, because uh, I love my family, I have to sacrifice that. Sometimes I didn't realize that at the same time I was sacrificing them too. And it's what it get me here. So I start going back to Mexico to spend time with them for about two months, three months, and then come back again to